Next thing as well, I'd like to talk about coaches who we both think are going to get the sack. But more Ooh. importantly, before I get into that, one coach who I don't not only I not only think will get the sack, but I think could get sacked very soon if it keeps coming. Leon Cameron, I think, could a hundred percent be a mid season uh mid season out. Like I don't know who they would replace. I remember Adam Kingsley, I think he finished second in the job for um Carlton's coach from Richmond. I don't yeah, know right. if he necessarily deserves it, but he would 100% go for the GWS one. You Kingsley would, would fit a lot again. better than Lyon. Yep. Up um, there. So. Wait, Lyon by... Who do you Ross mean? Lyon. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, is Ross Lyon in the equation for GWS? <laughs> not, not for GWS, <laughs> but since we were talking, since you were talking yeah, about oh, Carlton, for, oh, true, he was in true, the running. True, he, was. he was probably second in running. Yeah. Other ones could be Justin Lepic, who finished second for the Collingwood job. Um, and he actually yeah. ended up getting hired by Collingwood. Yeah, he's with Collingwood, so I, I'm not sure. Well, maybe he got there if he got offered it, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. He, well, he, he deserves a second chance more than anyone in the AFL, even more than I think nearly Vossi did, because Vossi didn't succeed, you know, I guess succeed a whole lot at Port Adelaide, while Lepic came in straight away at Richmond and not only had a premiership forward line, but a premiership back line. Yeah, that's coach right. Both. So he do, he needs to be a coach very, very shortly in the AFL again. There will be random guys out there again. I'm sure um, Choco's name will, because the media just loves to bring up random guys. Yeah, Choco's name will pop Choco's up. Choco's not getting He's enough. Not getting another, yeah, no way. James Hurd is that. obviously, this is one that I think in, of an interesting one. James Hurd is slowly but surely getting back into the AFL scene. Yeah, he's working his way back in. Two years ago, no one would even say his name. Now he's like a supervising coach at GWS. Um, And you would think he'd be an assistant coach by the end of the season. Very I would like to see that. That'd be real interesting, heard back in a job. So, yeah, I I wouldn't have even thought of that, to be honest. But up at GWS. Hawthorne's got a couple. Uh, You've got Brendan Bolton, who... Did not do well at Carlton. I don't think he'll get another um, head coaching. I think I think if Tasmania were to get a team, he would be considered maybe for the role. I think he's got some strong ties to Tasmania. Could definitely go over there as an assistant. I think he's also like the supervising coach or whatever for Collingwood. And then they've, um, you know, he was on Hawthorne rather. And then Hawthorne also got Chrissy Newman, who has yeah. slowly moved up the ranks. I think he went from a VFL to assistant. Now he's like one of the head assistants. I think he would be considered. Does Leon Cameron, though, get fired midway through the year? And because I don't think they can legally get anyone else until the offseason, the only thing they could do is hire someone from their club. I wouldn't know who would take over from their club. Um, yeah. I don't know who their assistants That's- are. That's kind of why I feel like they like wait until the end of the season, see where they're at, and then Cameron would mm. be on his way and they'd get a complete fresh start with the new year. Yeah. I don't know if he'll get sacked like 12 games in. They'd have to be playing pretty bad. very, very poorly. Like for they that are to right happen. now. Like they are right now. Well, yeah. And with the list that they have, it's kind of inexcusable. But uh, he's had quite a fair time in that in that role and they could have won a premiership or two. I tell you what, if this gets to the off season, do not rule out James Hurd. That's what I'm saying because people think that you have to like work your way up over the years, which is is true. Like because he's like the supervising director or coaching, whatever he is, you would think the next step would be assistant coaching. But we have seen before, especially in the NFL, this happens all the time, where guys take the they completely skip the middle part and go straight to the big part. Yeah. Um, and there's James Hurd has coached before. There's no reason why he wouldn't. He'd obviously go for it. Yeah, and you'd think so. He was compelling enough to be a coach once upon a time. He clearly beat out a bunch of other candidates. He's got some tricks up his sleeve. Why couldn't he do it again? Yeah, I. that would be real interesting and create a lot of conversation. And I'd honestly really like to see James Hurd back like in the, in the spotlight in a head coaching role. And mm. I think that would be really interesting to see how GWS would go uh, with him as their coach. So if you had to tip right now, is Leon Cameron going to be coaching next year? 
Um, and who would replace him? Would you like me to go first or are you going to go first? Well, I'll go first. I'll say that he makes... I don't think GWS will be like bottom four territory or anything because if they were, he'd get sacked halfway through the year. Yep. But I think he'll make it through to the end of the year because he's been with them for so long and then they'll see him off. And then next year, they he could they could make the eight and he could still be coaching next year. But just going off of what we've seen so far. And then I think like the number one, the number one guy who's like next in line would be Kingsley, but you did make a good case for her. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. I would say Lepic or Kingsley, but something, a part of me is telling me that they would go Kingsley, which I yeah. feel like could be the wrong move because I think Lepic is a severely better coach. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't Lepic rate Kingsley as much there. as some people do, but I've yeah. also got Hurd as the smoky. I think Hurd, could do a wonders man like he could come out of nowhere and just, imagine it would be it would be insane and like bro they were saying choco like got fully put into the conversation if choco got into the conversation with collingwood and he put his name in the hat um and said i wanted to get it and i there was rumors he got interviewed as well if that happened bro that's choco williams who got sacked from richmond not long ago yeah. as an assistant you're telling me heard couldn't be the coach of the gws football club that's like the thing I, I don't know why Choco's always brought up in these conversations every time there's a coaching role. Like, he's got to be getting on a bit by now to be, st- <laughs> like, in his 60s to be starting with a whole new club. No way I could ever see that happening. Yeah. There's also, I feel like we didn't talk about this, but Clarko is still available. That's another one, too. Clarko is chilling. Bro, he could, bro. He he sounds like he's well. He's definitely going to coach again. Yeah, and GW. Hmm, well, that's I, I not don't necessarily know. true because Clarko did say he would. He wants to be like the big guy that is the leader of like the Tassie Footy Club. He did yeah. say he wants to be the one that paves the way for its creation, and that would mean like you would think he would go to be like their boss of football or something like that, like what Neil Baum is or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. And I heard him on the radio, I think it was on SEN, and I'm pretty sure he said that he wants to coach again, like real recently. Yeah. So, Well, I mean, Tessie could... won't be in the AFL until 2028, they're saying. And people say, oh, yeah. people don't realise, they actually hire their staff in that a lot earlier. Like Gold Coast were introduced in the AFL in 2011, but I'm pretty sure they had like a lot of their staff and players figured out by like 2009. The end of yeah. 2009. So Tazzy would probably do that 2026, which I mean, Clarko could have like, what are we, 2022? He could still have like four years, five years guaranteed as Giants coach. Yeah, Giants is a team I could actually see him at kind of. Like, I can't see him at very many other teams mm. than Hawthorne, but that's just because he was there for so long. Yeah. But uh, I think North I... will come knocking in the off season because I really don't know about I don't know if they have much faith in their coach. I completely David Noble. Um, Especially if if they finish last again, that's two wooden spoons, and you don't see that often in the AFL. No. You get two wooden spoons in a row. I just don't know if Clarko would be willing to come into another club and start all again with a new list of guys. Like, he was invested in that rebuild at Hawthorne, but now he's out of there. I think that he's just a coach that would come in with an already good list like Carlton had yeah, and then go from there and take them into the A or into yeah. finals. Because GWS so, uh, have a foundation, but North don't. Oh, that's, yeah. That's 100%. why he would like, maybe do GWS. Yeah, that's why I can see it, because GWS's list is so far ahead of yeah. North Melbourne's. So, yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, and then you, there's the other ones. There's always, like, West Coast, this and that. Clucko will not coach those teams. They are bound for a rebuild. It's not happening. Um, and that will segue me into my next thing. But, yeah, I think Clucko fits really well for GWS. But a part of me, I wonder, is Clucko thinking about this in his head? Is he, is he thinking to himself, all right, let's get five years done at GWS and let's go do the Tasmania thing? Because... I'm almost certain that the Tasmania thing will be in his timeline. 
Yeah, well, he of... could he could be to Tasmania, kind of yeah. like what Kevin Sheedy was to was, GWS. Yeah, because yeah. what is what's his um, age right now? So let's just say he does the five years at GWS. That would leave him till he's fifty eight. Then he can realistically go to Tasmania and spend like he's sixty to seventy. You know, be like and then retire at seventy years old. Do tes- ten years at Tasmania, pretty much. Yeah, could really try and do that. Um, I don't think that'd be as their coach. I don't know who their coach would be. Wow, I could for see him reason, as their coach, but for not for, for long. For some reason, Chris Newman just popped in my head as Tasmania's coach. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. What the hell, I mean, bro? Yeah, maybe it's it's a few years down the line yeah, now, no, so a lot can change. We're but... definitely looking at like six years in the future, but like I don't know where the hell that came from. <laughs> 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 but yeah, Clark over to GWS. I think that makes sense. I feel like Kingsley's going to happen, though. Like, Yeah, think... so do I. And the, all the talk is that the AFL are going to do everything in their power to send Clarko up to the Gold Coast. But, like, they don't... Stewie Juice kind of in that yeah. role now. And, like, the way that uh, people from the AFL and from Gold Coast have been talking, like, they don't want to send Stewie Ju on his way out. They want to give yeah. him a shot. And there was reports that he was going to sign a two-year deal. I don't think he actually yeah. signed it, but I think I think there was reports they're going to be giving him the two year deal. I don't think Clarko could be their boss of football or whatever. I think is I think um is it Wayne Campbell? Is that his name? He was the boss of um GWS's football. GWS, he, yeah. He went over to Gold Coast. I can't remember if it was Wayne Campbell or not. Well, Wayne I don't know if he I don't think I ever heard of him going up there, but he definitely was for GWS. Yeah. I let me let me find out. I'll search this up. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting one. But- 